Hi, I am Nick from the Next Cast, and I am here with Erica Sabo. And uh, we are both at YetiCon. And uh, Erica, you just finished your panel about uh, YouTube 101. Yes, yeah, I had a really uh, good opportunity doing that. It's just been um, sharing the fundamentals of being a YouTuber. I've been doing it for the past four years now. So just sharing some of my personal experience as well as with live streaming as well. Yeah, that was really interesting to me because when I when I see a lot of YouTubers, they don't seem to have the same... I, keeping in mind I haven't seen your channel yet, which mm -hmm. we'll probably check out immediately <laughs> after we get through this. Um, I haven't seen a lot of YouTubers who kind of focus on that personal angle, like the the personal experiences about how the, the games relate to their, their life beyond superficial kind of like, oh, I really enjoyed this game or yeah. this touched me. Um, what was your motivation for kind of going along that route? I think it was maybe not having that kind of opportunity growing up and being able to share my own personal story. A lot of my time growing up was, there was a lot of like silencing periods. There was a lot of periods where I wasn't able to express myself fully, not just like in a, in a sphere of like video games or my interests, um, but just a, a place to feel like I belonged, right? Uh, so I feel like to be able to share your story is a good way to be able to connect with other people's stories too. Yeah. Cool. Um and I mean, you mentioned you now have like a lot of subscribers, like 26,000 subscribers, which I mean, for us, that is like for anybody, that is an amazing number of people. That is an amazing community to like now not only be a part of, but to be like at the forefront of what has been kind of the most, I'm going to say heartfelt moment in all the time having all those subscribers. I think just watching people change. Like one of my friends who goes to Con Bravo, uh, I've seen him grow up as a person and change as a person. And while he has grown apart a bit, um, I will, and we both have, uh, he was really inspired by the work that I was creating and it really helped shape him as a person. He's, he's one of the most amazing people and he's still part of my life. Still follow each other on social media and talk and he's just such a breath of fresh air. It's really nice to be able to see people in, in that way and know that you're able to make a difference in another person's life. So I'm, I'm going to ask a question but I feel like based on what you just said I might know the answer. Okay. Um, if there was one thing you hope that people take away when watching your videos on YouTube, um, what would that one thing be? To know that they can share their stories too, right? I think it's to be able to allow yourself to be vulnerable in a public space. I think a lot of people don't know how to be, and I think that it can make for a pretty unsafe space for a lot of people. And maybe if it was a more accepting environment for that, then it, people could feel more safe and it could be a more positive community. I mean, that's a pretty big hope to have, but it's always going to be there. <laughs> I, well, I, I, I agree with you. I think that's a very important thing to, to get across because uh, as this con has, has been amazing so far for being very inclusive and, okay. and non-toxic, but there are, there are lots of fandoms. We've done research for the podcast and there are some pretty awful yeah. fandoms. <laughs> um, if people wanted to find out where to find your work and or anything else that you'd like to to talk about uh where could they do that for sure well youtube is a really good space just because it's my name it's erica e-r-i-k-a s-z-a-b-o i'm sure you'll probably have oh, something yeah, no, down we'll below have, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. somewhere, <laughs> somewhere in this here. area yeah. um and on there you can actually find my facebook fan page my twitter uh as well as my twitch it's mostly the same in each of them so yeah you can find me there awesome well thank you for taking the time to chat with us erica thank you very much It is now recording. Okay. Could you do me a favor? Sure. Could you just do like a big loud clap? Cool, thank you. Uh, we had a clapper, but we forgot to bring it. It's sitting in the hotel room, okay. and it helps us to keep these two things the same.